Ever wonder how the Earth, weighing an unbelievable six quadrillion tons, just hangs there in space without dropping like a rock? Is there some hidden force holding it up? First, let's give a nod to Captain Kirk. Now, let's rewind over 300 years. So, Newton discovers gravity. But then he comes up with another crazy idea. Newton's cannon experiment. Picture this. A cannonball shot from Earth towards space super fast. If it reaches the right speed, it won't fall back down but will keep orbiting Earth. If that cannonball hits 7.9 kilometers per second, it'll escape Earth's pull and keep orbiting forever. That's some serious speed. But before we get into more, hit the plus for more videos. Now fast forward to the 20th century. Einstein introduces us to the idea that space and time actually bend around massive objects. Imagine dropping a 10 kilogram lead ball on a bedsheet. It makes a dent, pulling anything nearby into that dip. Well, the sun is like the big boss of our solar system, taking up most of its mass, so its gravity controls everything around it. We learned that Earth floats in space because it has enough speed to keep it there. If Earth speeds up to 16.7 kilometers per second, it would actually break free from the sun's pull and go rogue. But if its speed slows down, it would start falling closer to the sun. Eventually, the sun's heat would skyrocket Earth's temperature by 50 degrees, and humans would be toast.